Books on Mission, sponsored by the Fellowship of Baptist Educators, has been operating at the North Carolina Baptist Men's Missions Camp in Shelby, North Carolina. The Missions Camp is a place where volunteers can come from all over the United States to do mission projects. When there's a tornado in the area, volunteers come to clean up and rebuild houses. When people need ramps to help them get into their houses, volunteers build them. When there's a mudslide, volunteers help people dig out. When houses need to be rebuilt, they do it. The Fellowship of Baptist Educators has been using the missions camp as a place to bring Bibles and theological study books, sort them, pack them, and get them ready for shipment. What we call Books on Mission began with people like Bronil Skaggs of Shelby, North Carolina, on their knees doing simple tasks and praying for guidance. We enlisted Ted Alexander, the former mayor of the town of Shelby, to lead out. Volunteers came from all over the United States to help. By July 7th, we had so many boxes and books that we began to be afraid they'd fall over and kill the two main packers. Here are Bronell Skaggs and Tommy Kirkendall. Sandy Simpson, our Fellowship of Baptist Educators president from Charlotte, North Carolina, asked Reverend Vince Hefner from the First Baptist Church of Cherryville to bring young people to pack. Here's Vince with his wife. Ted Alexander showed them the boxes of books and told the young people that they were being sent to northeastern India to the Shalom Bible Seminary in Kohima, Nagaland. Sandy's husband pulled carts with pallets. David Brown, the camp director, drove the forklift. Everybody pitched in from the youngest to the oldest. When all 1,119 boxes of books had been loaded, we managed to close the doors of the truck. We even signed up the tall, young truck driver to be a member of the Fellowship of Baptist Educators. He's a Christian, a Baptist from South Carolina where he's a volunteer coach for young people in his community. We presented him a new Bible and all signed it. Then we prayed together and sent the container on its way.